<laughs> All right, let's talk about it because we've got lots of changes to talk about this weekend. You know, yesterday, not a bad day at all. We made it to 73 degrees. Normal high this time of the year is right around 70. So anything above 70 this time of the year, you take it. 49 right now at Carlisle. And even this morning, it's very seasonable. We should be around 50 for morning low, and that's right around where most of us are right now. Not much to talk about. Winds are pretty light. Just a few clouds over us right now. 73, the official high yesterday. There's your normal high. Technically now 69 degrees, but you get the picture normal low 50 yesterday's low right around that again. But things are really going to start to change this weekend, especially when it comes to the morning low temperatures uh, for the first time this season. I think a lot of us are going to see 30s on the board for both Sunday and eventually Monday mornings. Everywhere right now sitting in the upper 40s and low 50s, 45 in Louisville. That is the cool spot. We've got 48 in York and Lebanon and 52 in Harrisburg. Notice that when we zoom out, it's pretty easy to spot where the front is. We've got 56 in Buffalo and there's a few hundred miles to the north, 36 at North Bay, 37 in Sault Ste. Marie. So this cooler air is going to spill in the region, especially as we head into tomorrow and then tomorrow night. Satellite radar is pretty quiet. Just a few mid-level clouds over us right now. I do think the morning today will be mostly sunny, but more in the way of clouds are expected as we head toward the afternoon and especially tonight. That's when that cold front gets closer to us. But notice the front itself, not very impressive. Not much moisture to work with. Therefore, we're not expecting any rain. Maybe a brief sprinkle in a spot or two tonight, but that would be about it. Behind this front, big area of high pressure builds in out of Canada, but with this high pressure building into our west and not over us, that means we are going to be dealing with a wind still, not just for today, but also as we head into your Saturday. We do have Friday Night Football tonight. E-Town play. We've got 60 degrees at Solanco, and there will be a bit of a breeze still out there at about northwest, uh, 5 to 15 miles per hour, but overall, a pretty pleasant night for some Friday night football or any outdoor plans. As we head into later this morning, temperatures will rise quickly into the mid to upper 60s and then we'll eventually top out in the low 70s this afternoon. But notice more in the way of clouds start to move in as we head toward the late afternoon and evening hours. Those clouds thicken a bit late tonight. A brief sprinkle, not out of the question, but by daybreak tomorrow, those clouds are well to our east and we get to enjoy lots of sunshine tomorrow. But notice a big difference when it comes to the high temperatures. Only in the upper 50s tomorrow, a good 14 degrees cooler than where we're going to be today. Temperatures do bounce back as we head toward the middle of next week. So notice highs back near seasonable levels, but be warned because as we head toward next weekend, we're talking Saturday, October 15th, way down the line here, another shot of cooler air out of Canada. So if you don't get frost this weekend, we will have to be on guard again next weekend. Overnight lows dipping to near 40, but I'll tell you what, there's going to be a lot of outlying areas that drop into the 30s. So just take precautions just in case if you do still have any outdoor plants. Lots of dry weather ahead this week. Really no rain expected until Thursday next week. High temperatures bounce back to near 70 degrees, guys. So lots of nice weather next week, but ooh, 40, that's going to be pretty chilly. We're going to need jackets when I see you both Monday morning. <laughs> Heavier jackets. Oh, yes, you're with sir. us on First Monday time. as well. I am. Surprise. Yeah. Nice. All right. Thank you, Addis. Yep, you bet.